This is an ultrasound study of a 60 years old female. <coughs> uh, you are seeing on the image that the left kidney is enlarged in length by 21.2 centimeters and uh, measures <coughs> an anterior posterior diameter. It measures 81 and the other dimension is 8.6. Uh, so the kidney is an eye. And uh, you can see there are, uh, this is the spleen. This is the upper pole of the kidney, mid region, and this is the lower pole region. And this is the longitudinal section that I'm going to show you now. And the, you will see that there are picogenic material islands of ecogenic material within this uh, sac shaped structure in the region of uh, left, left number region. Now concentrate on this one. <coughs> this is uh, the ecogenic area at the lower pole fixed does not change its position and uh, this is the ecogenic material at the upper pole of the kidney. I am magnifying to show you in a better way. Now this is an ecogenic area that is uh, adherent with the uh, outer wall and the uh, kidney. Kidney is massively hydronephrosed. from the other view. Now in the region of the pelvis, Lata Siddhiya Majikali. In the pelvic region, is there any uh, friction to this uh, kidney? because of some pelvic pathology or urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. Now this is the longitudinal section. You can see the postmenopausal uterus, the urinary bladder. And uh, I'm going to give a full sweep now to the probe to see if there is something in a division of uh, some mass at the region of left lower abdominal quadrant, so bowel mass may be one of the possibilities. But we see that uh, there is nothing in this region as well. So this is an isolated uh, renal pathology in this old female with ecogenic material hanging from its uh, lateral and anterior walls. This appears to be a bleed within the kidney. You'll see this is from another view. This is the another view of the kidney, left. And uh, the possibility is that of uh, pelvic ureteric junction. No history, no clinical examination notes has been provided to me. So I can conclude only 
This kidney is dilated massively. Hydronephrose. Now this is the right kidney. And you can see that the right kidney is normal by all parameters, sonographic parameters. This is the right kidney. In longitudinal section measuring 7.6 in longitudinal section and 4.1 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. Additionally, there are a few calculi seen within the gallbladder. These are the calculi, tiny calculi within the gallbladder. But the main and the liver is seen below postural margin. And uh, it's fatty, liver is fatty. We don't see any congestion of the hepatic veins. This is the pancreas. This is a view for uh, pancreas, the stomach. Now I am moving the probe below the subcostal region, below the left subcostal region, and I am getting the kidney straight away. This is the spleen. Again, showing you once again. problem area and the other thing is that uh, uh, proof of it being uh, this bag with ecogenic material fixed to its wall, multiple ecogenic material that are fixed with its wall, its kidney is that it moves with the respiration of the patient. Here you can see it's moving and second thing to is that this is the aliosaurus muscle, this one, and uh, the kidney is sliding over this aliosaurus muscle. This is the aorta. This is the aorta because I am scanning from the left from the region. So this is a case of uh, pelvic urinary tension, obstruction with the Thank you very much.